All right, what's up, everybody? Back for another video. We're going to Texas, so you already know. I gotta record it all the way down. Just hit Walmart, got a whole bunch of stuff for the truck. Gotta make my bed and do all that, so let's get on to the video. Come on. <laughs> So let's start it off with fridge. We got a whole bunch of junk in here right now. Not really, but. So I got some toast strudel, some Hot Pockets, some uh, pot pies and stuff. You know, that's basically like dock food. I've got a couple cans of food got to put in there. I got some stuff I got to put in there. I don't have nothing to put in there. And I have more arm roll and stuff like that. Microfibers, blah, blah, blah. I got a new bed pad, it's memory foam and all that fun stuff. And I was tired of my blankets, so I went and got red sheet with black blankets. So I have red pillows and black blankets that'll kind of match the truck and all that. So I'm gonna go grab that. We're gonna try and pack all this in here. Then we gotta get down the road. You gotta go get the load. And then we gotta start heading to Texas. So let's get to it. All right, so got this for those toaster strudels, nine bucks. You know how to get a black one to match a truck. All right, here's our cleaning stuff. I get all this in there. Let's get the vacuum in there. And we'll get this son of a gun in there. This one's the upgraded one from what I had. This one's got a better switch. What happened with mine is a dang old switch started smoking. And I was like, what's that smell? And then next thing you know, the switch was on fire. So that was awesome. I think it's because I had broke it, but still. Ugh. switch. I think we're going to actually keep these this time. something like that it's the one I had before it's just a newer version works awesome like I said in one of the other videos it'll suck the chrome off the bumper if you wanted it to two peak horsepower you know running some bald eagles over here need no daggone handle and we're gonna keep this this and this and the truck and the door you know probably just gonna keep it all I don't like how the wire goes out a different side so let's get this up here and the hose ain't near as long on this one. What the heck? Oh, I guess maybe it is. All right, so, oh, there's a laptop there. This is what I use in here. It's the chemical guys, a leather deodorizer. I really like it. Smells good like leather. So, 
That's gonna go on later. This is a box of miscellaneous stuff. Microfibers go back here. Laptop goes right here. Bush latte shirt goes back there. Drone goes back here. All right. So, let's put this in there. So that's all good. Got all my bags right there. I'm not liking it. It's not the same shape as the old one. Hmm. Add the hose in the wrong spot. That goes there. But it's not the same size as the old one. This sucks. I don't even know what to do with it now. Well, I bought it, so I'm going to have to use it. Here's some mud flap weights I need to put on my trailer when we go pick it up today. Because I'm tired of those being all banged up. So, I run most of my wires underneath the carpet here. Like so, because there's nowhere else you can run them. So, we're going to do this down like that. And then run it back to back. Just gonna have to work like that. I'm really not happy with it at all though. They added more wire to this side. Man, this sucks. Works at least. So I guess what I'll do is I'll just keep the wires back here so I can pull it out when I need it. But now this isn't going to stay back. Oh, I guess I'll have to use my clasps now. So here's the blankets I decided to get, black and gray. I'm only pretty much going to use the comforter out of this, I think, because I got red sheets. So I think I'm going to do red sheets and pillows with a black comforter. Maybe I might do a black undersheet or a red undersheet, gray metal sheet. I don't know yet, but let's go try and put this thing in there now, which is going to be fun. Oh, there's my toaster. I got to grab that. Hey, you turn that thing off. Time to try and get this thing in there. Ugh. Ugh. All right, I think we're gonna unroll this in the truck so that way it don't get all big before. Oh man, that is soft. Let's take all this in here. Not the toaster in here now. You gotta go put all this up. There's a the blanket. We don't need any of this. And we got a couple cans of food here. Let's give it a shot. No. Oh. This back down here. Take my old pillows. I gotta take the covers off those. A sock, which goes in the dirty box. Oh, the bag. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, 
the heck? Why is it all like... Wait, if it's memory foam, isn't it going to stay like this? Oh! Yeah, this thing feels so weird. What the hell? What is this? I hope it expands because this will be ridiculous. But then again, it wouldn't be because I can put it to the top and my feet can still go under the TV because I was worried about that. All right, come on, do your unmemorized thing. Oh man. Oh man. I'm gonna have to make it work. Should have got the full size, I feel like. Because it is definitely small. Alright, time to quit being weird. Let's get this going. Ow. <clears throat> It is growing though. It's kind of weird though. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't know how the bed's gonna be made nice over that. This is just kind of weird, if you ask me. But it's still expanding, so. Let's put the sheet on it and see how weird this is really going to be. That I left outside. Love it. Alright, so we're gonna do this like this. I'm sure you guys don't wanna watch me make the bed, so. Boom! Alright, to be honest with you, I just did everything. I got tired of, uh, you know, I just get wound up. So, toaster's in there, food's in there, bed's made, carpet's vacuumed, everything's good. I gotta go throw all my trash out, and then we'll be ready to go. Gotta put the rest of my waters up here in the fridge. That can go. All my sauce is in there. It looks really bad. It's just because it's marked up from stuff bouncing around and stuff in there all the time. So don't hold it against me. Water, water, water. And oh, one last thing. Bam, that's better. All right, now I'm going to say bye to everybody, throw all my trash away, lick my truck over, and get on the road. I'll see you when you get rolling. Cold start for you. I totally forgot to record me going into a car parking lot to get Dunkin' Donuts.
I was hungry and I wanted a bagel and a cold coffee. So now we're gonna get our trailer. Well, our trailer right there is not loaded yet and it's supposed to be down at 11. It's 11. So the fun starts. So now waiting for my buddy to come out. He's gonna talk to me about it. I don't know what the deal is. I'm probably gonna hook up to it and put it in the door and then they'll load it and we can get out of here. But we need to start covering some ground because we gotta be in Texas by 5.30 Wednesday morning. I plan on running pretty good today and then finishing off the other eight tomorrow and then doing some other things and then getting down into the door next morning. And then we have Dallas after that. So, let's see what happens. I keep forgetting that I'm doing a video today. Dang it. So, just like that to the trailer. Let's get all the lines hooked up, all that fun stuff. Let's get after it. Come back through. I'm I'm never... back for the in the field. Oh, okay. I had never loaded on this side before. Right. All right. I think we're gonna go to door four. So that would be the easiest way to swing the truck around. Check it out all weird. Nobody coming. Swing the doors open real quick and walk the whole road up like a butt. Oh, I probably could have opened it in there. I didn't think they were that wide.
right, there we go. Now we'll wait to get loaded. I'm gonna mess around on the laptop for a little bit, figure some things out, and then we'll get rolling. All right, I am sucking today for remembering that I'm trying to do a video. So we just got out of there. I had to move to another door. I was talking to a gentleman on the phone for a while about different things and helping out the channel. So now we're gonna go over here to TA, need to get fuel, need to use the restroom, maybe grab a bite to eat, and then we're gonna be off to the races. Looks like we're gonna have a good bit of nighttime driving tonight because it is 2.15 and we're just now getting out of there and it's gonna take us 18 hours to get down to Houston. So I think I got nine hours left on my clock. This might screw us up for what I wanted to do down there, but I think we're gonna be all right. Still gonna get a good video out of it if this camera's pointing in the right direction. makes it I found some pepperoni pizza in there. I just couldn't walk by it. I had to get it. We got our fuel receipt. We're good on that. So now we're full fuel in the truck and the trailer. We gotta start boogieing south now. The summertime edition Red Bulls are about to be coming off the shelf. I seen some winter editions, so I had to get a couple watermelon ones. And we're gonna do some montages running down. All that fun stuff. But word of advice to you guys that are new and coming out. Your trainer's probably gonna teach you to do a 30 minute break on the fuel island. Well, let me tell you, that is the fastest way to get someone very upset with you. That's a dirty 30 right there. It's dirty, don't do it. And now you can do your 30 minute break on duty with the HOS rule change. And there's a thing inside the ELD, which is a yard move, which if you look up the rules, is for anywhere you're moving the vehicle around in a parking lot, which is also a truck stop. So you get your fuel, you go inside, you get your fuel receipt, and you put it in yard move, and then you can drive to a parking spot, stop, then go off duty, and your on duty time counts towards your off duty. So literally you get fuel, it takes you 12 minutes, 13, 15 minutes, whatever. Go get your fuel receipt, you'll be at like, 17 18 minutes drive over to a parking spot which you'll gather a minute maybe a minute and a half of on duty drive time then go back off duty and you only got to wait another 10 15 minutes it's easy don't hog up everybody else that needs to get fuel and keep going and if your trainer teaches you to do that tell them i'd love to speak with them and explain to them what a real truck driver is and the courtesy of being a truck driver to each other anyway let's get on the road i'm gonna pull over here finish my pizza get it plugged into GPS and we're gonna start pounding pavement come on all right so the way we're gonna go here I've taken this route a couple times is we're gonna run down here in Illinois we're gonna hop over I can't remember the, the number of this road what is it is it gonna show me no it's not going to of course oh 67 that's what it is 
We're gonna jump over and run 67 down. I've ran this a few times. I know there's a little truck stop with a restaurant that's down in there, but I can't remember exactly where it's at. We're gonna run that all the way down to Little Rock. I would say Arkansas, but it's against the law. So Arkansas. Yes, it's really against the law. I was at a restaurant there and I said Arkansas and some locals got mad at me. It's ridiculous. So, and then we'll run on down 30, drop down in, shoot around Houston, get to the drop where we need to go. So, let's get on it. Gotta put a new battery in the GoPro right now too. She's about to die. As also said, you like to see the feet moving around. So, let's get wound up and get rolling. Let you guys see some, some feet movement. Let's see how much time we got. We got about eight hours of drive time, so we're gonna go ahead and let her roll. And we're not stopping until we find somewhere to stop. Well, I'll pull over somewhere and we'll get on a good old trucker path and find us a place. I hope you guys can see it. I'm sorry if it gets in the way. I've got to find a better angle for it. down there is actually open so we'll be able to go down and get a full pull in you guys can watch all this i do a couple double clutches but i'm mainly going to float it probably might even do a little quick in and out for you look at this guy go do something
put it. You can just put the gear up, hold out the throttle and into the throttle and it'll, you know, go into the next split. Or when you split it, you can pop it out and pull it right back in, but you gotta be quick and precise with it. Or man, does it make a hellacious noise. It is horrible.
there's only like one truck in there. Make sure before we dive on in there. Oh, hell yeah. tonight so so we can make up time so we can get down there it ain't a problem but now guess what cleaning montage let's go Just gotta wait to get in here. I'm not liking this now. It should have been a lot faster. These guys should already be moving. Now it's gonna really set me behind. I'm probably not gonna be able to dry it and stuff whenever we get done. Once we pull out, I'm probably just gonna put her in the wind and I'll wipe it down tonight or tomorrow morning whenever before we get rolling, get all the water spots off and all that stuff because we're already behind. Wasn't a good move on me. But it's gonna be clear weather all the way down and I want to look good, so. Oh, hey. We're moving now. No, might not be too bad. It's just a hibachi truck, so they're probably not gonna watch it that good. Um, I don't know, man. Couldn't tell you. Probably just gonna wash the truck, won't even do the trailer. Hopefully, at least. Oh, holiday. I really shouldn't have stopped and done this. Oh, I should have kept going. Uh, I'm gonna be way behind now. But. Price, you gotta pay to look good. They can't be rolling around all nasty and dirty like this. She's quite disgusting. Not as bad as she's ever been, but in case we see people, gotta look good, you know what I'm saying?
fabulous job, but now we are in hurry mode. We gotta get this thing wiped down and get out of here. We're gonna have to run like hell tonight. And my towel's not drying like it should. God dang it. I'm not gonna be able to dry it as good as normal, but we're gonna at least try and get most of the water off. gonna open the hood and all that water will get on the fender so we're gonna wipe that wipe the chrome top of here this
I could feel it burning in my soul that my tires weren't shined and there was water spots everywhere so I stopped real quick it took me six and a half minutes shined the tires did everything I needed to do real fast so I'm happy now we can't stop now I know it's good if you see me out here tonight and I'm looking good you know why come on only bad part about it is that they didn't get to wipe it properly it's going to sling it all over the place but we're still going to look good oh and I missed some spots Problem. I have a time to fix that real quick. Shit fire. So what I'm gonna do is shut the truck off. See if that fixes it. Yep, there we go. Maybe it's is fixed. Okay, just had water in the connector. Alright, so now we can go. We're not stopping.
especially during the day when there's a lot of traffic, you want to start slowing down. Because more than likely, it's going to turn yellow, and you can't pick up speed enough to make the yellow light, and then you're going to run a red light. And if a cop sees you do that, you're going to get your butt ripped into a knot. So, whenever you're coming up on green lights, try to time it. It's really hard, and I mean, you're never going to get it right, probably. But always be careful whenever you're coming up on a stale green. Unless you see a change and you can kind of guesstimate what time frame it's going to take for it to change back, always start getting ready to stop. And sometimes you'll get ready and you'll slow down and it won't change. And then you're going to be like, well, that sucked. But it's always good to make a habit of it in case you do have to really lock it up. Especially if there's cars in front of you. I had that happen one time. I didn't start slowing up and the light went yellow and I could have made it, but the car in front of me decided that it didn't want to make it through the light and it slammed on its brakes and I had to bring the whole rig to a dead stop and it was either pull out of the car in front of me or the one to the left of it or take out the pole that was holding the light up and it, it took a lot I mean it's it, it scared me bad so always want to make sure that you start slowing down when you see a stale green done eating this we're gonna get back on the road and we're gonna try and get some more miles out we gotta get like two maybe three more hours in and it's just been dark long road so I'll get back on whenever I find something interesting like always all right just got done with dinner at 11 o'clock at night and we're gonna keep on rolling we're still 11 hours and 16 minutes out so we've got to get at least another two hours down so we can finish it off tomorrow and get down to Houston at a decent time. keep pushing we got to get a little bit further here otherwise we're not gonna make it to Houston at the time that I want to make it to tomorrow look at this guy he better not pull out I'll run him over hit that curb take out my new bumper John Deere 
place. Look at that. Full track John Deere. It's definitely getting late, boys. Not shifting too well. find a truck stop anywhere that had parking and the next truck stop a solid hour away and I'm sure it's completely packed so I found a nice safe shoulder to pull off on I don't like parking on shoulders because it's not very safe at all but my clocks ran out uh, there's nowhere you know else to park I mean I'm kind of shit out of luck out here because it's a really long dark empty road and so this road cuts off and goes down to some little town so I can't imagine a lot of people coming through uh, a couple like it's back I saw some trucks up on the shoulder so I don't think I'm gonna get messed with but doors are locked lights are on get a little bit of shut-eye we'll get on down there in the morning let's get it